a venue steeped in history. We're here at Stadium Australia in Sydney. I'm Derek Gray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's Portugal, and they take on Sweden. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Here's the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And this confrontation is underway. He's gliding through, laid into the box. Just needs to get rid of it. Knocked on. Oh, good looking run. And the cross into the middle. In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. Aslani, not spot on with that challenge. Not on. Oh, she's in a really promising position. Real chance. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Johanna Ricking Kanaru. On to Aslani. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Elin Rubinson. A very effective challenge put in. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Now she can 
celebrate. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Dolores Silva. Now options are plenty. Well, it was a poor attempt, and a goal kick it is. Really pressing their opponents. Well, Sweden unable to hang on to it. And threading it forward. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Wasteful from Portugal. And he stopped them in their tracks. Oh, a nice looking pass. Big opportunity. And there we have it. She's only gone and made it a brace. Nobody can stop her. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. So the action continues, and Portugal very much bossing the proceedings here. Well timed tackle. Oh, what an opportunity! Good looking cross. Oh, yes! Dispatching it for the form! Wonderful goal! Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and what an easy finish it is in the end. Mind you, the market is so poor, she didn't even need to jump. She won't care about that, though. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. And not quite on target, unfortunate, you've got to say. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. It's good technique, she makes good contact, but it needs to be on target to trouble the keeper. Stina Blackstenius. Now well, a good tackle. Now, can she put this one away? And there it is! She's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And that was a very fine read.
Natalie Bjorn. Sega. Sega. Moving forward effectively. Well, they get the ball once more. Well, quite simply, that is a wasted chance. Nazareth. Let's fly here. Oh, and off the bar. Rubinson. Oh, they've oh, lost, they it. lost it. And a goal kick is the outcome. Getting forward, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And nicely struck. Well, I must admit it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. Well, strong play here. Elin Rubinson, Aslani. Take it away. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. So a corner here. And the short option preferred. What a bad pass it was. Stina Blackstenius. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. Hugh Coburn, and this is a complete passing tutorial in FIFA 23. Of course, we have to delve into the basics of passing. Of course, to pass, you just press the S button on PS5 or A on Xbox. That activates the regular pass in FIFA, and then, of course, you move on to the square on PS5 or the S on Xbox button. And essentially, that is a lob pass over to a player who you are aiming to with the left stick. We then have dribbles, of course, it's Y on Xbox or it's triangle on PS5. That threads the through ball through and essentially the player can run off to it. We have threaded through balls as well and essentially that is holding R1 or RB on Xbox, pressing the through ball button and essentially they will thread the ball through the defence, not particularly in line with the player making the run, but through the gap of the defenders so that essentially your player can run on to that ball, find a very good way of allowing your player to have momentum on the run when he gets in behind. We have driven passes, of course it's R1 or RB on its bots when you press the pass button. The player does a very trip to have momentum on the run when he gets chip in FIFA 23. Of course, we have to delve into the basics of passing. Of course, to pass, you just press the S button on PS5 or A on Xbox. That activates the regular pass in FIFA, and then, of course, you move on to the square on PS5 or the S on Xbox button. And essentially, that is a lob pass over to a player who you are aiming to with the left stick. We then have through balls, of course, it's Y on Xbox or it's triangle on PS5. That threads the through ball through and essentially the player can run onto it. We have threaded through balls as well and essentially that is holding R1 or RB on Xbox, pressing the through ball button and essentially that will thread the ball through the defence, not particularly in
Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And just look at this volley. She reads the fly to the ball and then just smashes it with her laces beyond the keeper. That is brilliant. Some out-and-out pasting, 6-0. Well, good-looking play with the ball of defeat. Chance to finish! Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. It'll be a corner. And over it comes. It hasn't come to very much. And she's being egged on by the crowd. Corner kick forthcoming. Preferes e a pessoa me faz o quê? Me passa gripe. Who can they pick out? But no one latched onto it. This could be dangerous. No luck keeping possession. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. And offside, unfortunately. Well, they couldn't keep it. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Under a fair bit of pressure. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Crossed into the penalty area. And a relatively straightforward save for the keeper. They've lost it. Well, she keeps moving. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Now the pressure being exerted. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, it might still work out for them. And I think the threat has been averted. Plenty of support here. In with a chance. Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Not just trying to drive her team forward here. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike.
blistering first half display and just look at that score. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, Portugal might be onto something. And a fine cross. And just on the header that was required. The goal they were in search of. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Oh, good-looking run. And that's the hat-trick, tearing this defence apart time and time again. They simply can't handle her. As you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Dolores Silva. Diana Silva. Shot attempted. Still possibilities. And that will be a corner. And the short option preferred. Simple for the keeper. Well, Sweden unable to hang on to it. An awful lot of green space to run into. Well, they made this look so easy, didn't they? But as you can see, the defending is really poor. Where were they? So yeah, she's blocking traffic to get some kind of, I, I don't know, aesthetic shot. And she appears to be clueless about how self-centered she's being. Oh, God, no. Now I don't know what to do with him. I don't know why he's honking at me. Oh, God, okay, I'm just gonna read it. But here's the most interesting part. There's actually kind of layers to this. She is not clueless to how self-centered she's being. She knows how awful she's being, but she captions her videos and pretends to be dumb so that we watch it and we all get mad at her. And then, of course, once we're mad at her, we engage with the video. It's classic rage bait. And this method appears to be working for her as it works for a lot of influencers. We can call it the Jake Paul method. In fact, I'm not convinced she was holding up traffic at all. I'm pretty sure those horn honks were dubbed in as they seem to be in a repeating pattern. So then we gotta ask ourselves, what's worse? Her legitimately holding up traffic or her pretending that she held up traffic just to make us mad? So this is gonna make you mad. The car would not stop honking when I was making videos and it's crossing the street video. Well, Sweden are able to get 
so yeah, she's blocking traffic to get some kind of, I, I don't know, aesthetic shot. I like to share a revelation. Taking a break, taking a breather, cutting it. I like to share a revelation that I've had during my time here. It came to me when well, those I tried to up what been watching it. It's been a really one-sided game. It's far too easy for them to open up this defense. This could turn into a rout. Every man is a planet. Instinctively develops a natural equilibrium. but no problems in the end physically strong and secure on the ball go so down 20,000 feet and pants James Cameron here. while he's excavating the Titanic <laughs> there he is this is going to be so great Black Stenius. <laughs> We're going to go down 20,000 feet and pants James Cameron while he's excavating the Titanic. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Is. 
into the area here. And a header goal it is. Right on cue. <laughs> They thought that they could get away with it a little longer. Hmm. They didn't know because it wasn't certified. They didn't pressure test it. And why didn't they use the kind of submarine that you again. used to because go down much, much deeper to better. the bottom of the Mariana well, Trench, the right area. which is, what is it, 11,000 well, 11, well, meters deep, 3,000 meters deeper than Everest is high. That goal. cost $40 million and took a long time to build, and it would take a longer time to certify. Right. So if you want to do it right, you need to be in it for a longer period of time and have a longer game. So it is all the cheap, basically. I mean, it was cheaper. cheaper. There's a porthole, hmm. and you can't really, you got to share a view of something that you're really not going to be Than well, Everest is high. That cost $40 end. million. Uh, it kind of took a long time to build, forest. and it would take a longer time to certify. Right. So if you want to do it right, you need to be in it for a longer period of time and have a longer game. So they did this on the cheap, basically. I mean, it was cheaper. cheaper. There's a porthole, and idea. you can't really, you've got to share a view of something that you're really not going to be able to see something so much better. Just so they can say, been there, done that, I guess. That's potentially the only reason, but what bragging right is that? They thought that they could get away with it a little longer. Hmm. They didn't know because it wasn't certified. They didn't pressure test it. My 11 year old son has a 13 year old girl over her swimming. On a scale of 1 to 10, how worried should I be? My 11 year old son has been restarted.
Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good no, effort. No, no, no way. I'm not paying. This is ridiculous. Every hole, the same crap. They don't. I wouldn't. I'd like to be remembered as an innovator. Um, and they, I think it was General MacArthur said, you're remembered for the rules you break. And, you know, I've broken some rules to make this. I think I've broken them with, with logic and good engineering behind me. The carbon fiber is titanium. There's a rule you don't do that. Well, I did. It's take I'd like to be remembered as an innovator. Um, and they, I think it was General MacArthur said, you're remembered for the rules you break. Senhora, minha esposa. Tá bem, amor. Tudo bem? Eu já vou no comboio. Tá bem. Tá bem. Elin Rubenson, Rutin Kanerud, on to Ericsson, Rubenson. Is she going to score? Determined block. And deciding to go short with this one. She's made a really good intervention there. Oh, big chance! Surely! Can they keep it out? On a time for composure on the ball. Will it be? Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. Elin Rubinson committed challenge. Good technique displayed. Well, you have to categorize that as a missed opportunity. Stina Blackstenius. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Rubenson. Promising sequence.
Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. to the final half hour Dolores Silva Silva Costa Silva Nazareth Dolores Silva what a shocking pass really Braxtenius Nazareth. Oh, in with a chance! What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. <laughs> and the challenge halts them in their tracks. The referee is given a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, fine stop. Well, behind for another corner. <laughs> Giving it a try. And there's the goal she was hoping for. Now she can celebrate. Well, let's see it again, because the delivery is absolutely perfect. Hard and low, just inviting someone to run onto it. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. Could she have done better? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Goal for Portugal! Elin Rubinson. Aslani. Rubinson. Now Blackstenius. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Well, the save wasn't all that taxing. Did her job, though. Going well, real chance. And there is the goal to make it a hat trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. That's useful play, but they dealt with the threat posed. Well, Portugal might be onto something. Oh, she's in a really promising position. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that.
Elin Rubinson getting in there to intercept well, showing everyone her abilities in possession takes the shot a routine save Dolores Silva Norton What a big chance that was Keeper has the ball Tatiana Pinto Andrea Norton It should be And she scored It's gone in and now she can run off and celebrate. Well, as you can see, it's a good finish. It just goes in off the post. It's perfect placement. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Andrea Norton doing well to keep possession Dolores Silva nicely timed tackle plenty of support here well she's made sure nothing untoward happened Well, no damage done. Surely! And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. chance oh marvellous goalkeeping well it's a top class save from a top class goalkeeper that's absolutely brilliant playing it in well it still could be dangerous oh she's broken things up magnificently Costa. Oh, great attacking play. And it's played into the centre. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Far from a good pass. Under pressure here. Rolfe. Good work to regain possession. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Less than convincing defending. But no damage done. That's the main thing. Counter-attacking very much an option. A move of promise on the flank. Well, let's see about the cross. A really effective shielding under pressure. And they deal with the threat this time. Sweden unable to hang on to it. 
And can they exploit the space out wide? And delivered into the box. And the danger still on. And a time for calm on the ball. Rubinson. Moving forward effectively, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Oh, good play, this. Textbook defending inside the box. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Crossed into the penalty area. The crossbar got in the way. And problem solved for now. And she's being egged on by the crowd. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. She's made a really important challenge. Can they hit on the break? And the flag raised. Offside it is. Well, possession seeded. Nazareth. And there she is, in with a chance. Well, that's not an attempt she'd like to have replayed over and over again, is it? Well, I think she got caught in two minds. Was she going to hit it with power? Was she going to pass it beyond the goalkeeper? In the end, she went for power. And the result is, it goes horribly off target. Winning the ball back. What can she do from here? Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. A bit wasteful in possession from Sweden. Now, can she put this one away? And there's the goal she was hoping for. Now she can celebrate. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Couldn't keep it. Good strength to keep the ball. Firing it in. A smart stop here. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure and given away. Well, visionary passing and she scored! It's gone in and now she can run off and celebrate. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished and that's exactly what happened there. Untidy on the ball. Good technique displayed. Andrea Norton. Retaining possession proving difficult. Silva. Good work from Sweden to win back possession. Well, tremendous block. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Oh, oh. 
An alert reaction to tip it over. Corner coming up. Can someone get on the end of this? A gift for any goalkeeper. Fridolina Rolfe. Possession one. Jessica Silva. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Dolores Silva. Well, she keeps moving. Well, still an issue here. And in the end, no damage done. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Doing well to keep possession. Chances on. It has to be, surely. And it's come off the keeper. And a time for cool heads. Tatiana Pinto and snuffing out the danger. Sega. Good work to regain possession. Oh, what an opportunity! Is it going to be? And a goal it is! Just what she was hoping to contribute. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Kosovari Aslani. Diana Silva. Well, it certainly wasn't easy, but a bit wayward, you'd have to say. Well, she's just mistimed that, hasn't she? Didn't quite catch it how she would have wanted to, and there's the result. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. She just doesn't want to give the ball away. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Might really be able to trouble them here. But timely defending when it mattered. Strong play here. Oh, great vision. Oh, she's in here. Big chance it is. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. And there goes the final whistle. We'll be seeing Portugal in the last eight. Well, it was all at a bit of a canter, to be honest. They dominated pretty much from the start, and it left the result in little doubt. They'll be full of confidence going into the next round.